Welcome back to Barry SMP. My mob farm is still humming along because, as I mentioned before, it's the perfect mob farm. It's been, you know, people have been around here. It's been half loaded, loaded completely, unloaded halfway, and it's still going along. None of the redstone's broken. And let's just see. So I have no idea. I haven't been on for, I want to say, like two IRL days. So let's see. Oh, yep, so I guess it wasn't that unloaded or loaded. One of, one of those words. Anyways, today's very exciting. We have some stuff to do. I don't know, is it in this backpack? No, it's not in this backpack. I don't know where it is. So let's go get going. Uh, let's say hello to our ducks. We're kind of a menace. We pick up these eggs and we just kind of throw them around the server. Don't tell Rue. Our foxes have just our foxes have just been EB boys. They've just been doing nothing but sleeping. And that's okay. They're living the life, as they say. So I think it's in this one. And this is what we need. We actually need we only need four of them. And if you if you know you know. But here actually we'll put those there. We don't actually have a good Maybe I'll do that. I'll make an actual path to like the area we're going to. Because walking back and forth is just it's it's a pain in the butt. So we have a nice mod called Lightly. And it kind of tells us like, hey, this is a spawnable surface, unless you fix it. And that's kind of great. So You know what, let's just do, we'll do like a quick little fast forward. How about that? Because this isn't super exciting and it's really just a distraction. Luck just got distracted. So welcome back. I tell you, I have to get some weeding done in this area. But we did our area. We have kind of flattened it out. It's still kind of growing here. And then we kind of worked on making a path. So that we could kind of run back and forth easier. We should probably put some lights down, actually. The idea being that, like, you know, there's no need to have to run against mobs every time we go here. I found that lanterns look prettier hanging than they do kind of just placed in the open like that. And then as you can see, we've kind of, we have like a stair, so we can kind of sprint run the whole way there. You can kind of see it on the map. Because we're going to want to be able to get back and forth. But I also didn't want to like completely terraform as of yet. We also got distracted again because the wandering trader actually had something we wanted for the first time like ever. So... Uh. Anyways, back to what we were doing before we got distracted. As you can see, our flying machines are built. And we kind of more or less have a kind of, we're going to do kind of the single. Obviously, you have to do, you have to trench it out. You have to trench out the, the edges before you can gobble up the sides. That is perimeter 101. That said, I can already tell that, like, for example, this needs to go further back. How much? I don't know. Um, other problems that might arise is if you look at... Well, actually, let's go up the scaffolding and then you can see better. The trees are kind of high in a couple places there. And actually further ahead as well. So that could be a problem in itself. Um, we are not going to ride alongside... Inside, I should say. We're not going to ride inside the thing for the sole purpose of um what we call we can't really see that well inside the cart Ooh, okay oh that was okay let's take the TNT out of our hand 
Um, we can probably put that one on here. The other thing to double check is to make sure that there's a block under here because otherwise it will not dupe. It will just kind of... Ugh. It's our first TNT boom boom. We will pick up the stuff as a reward. Now we need one more piece of TNT because I... Because uh, I was irresponsible. Fine, we got some more TNT. Okay, let's go. We have one more side to do. Hopefully I don't destroy my sea lanterns. I actually don't have the farm anymore where I got the shards to make the sea lanterns. So if we lose the sea lanterns, they are gone. Um, that said, they were kind of just like a... Oop. Before, before I place the last block and it potentially all blows up and I cry, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep, shameless. Okay, let's make sure we press the right key this time. Bam. Okay. And I fell again. Okay. Uh, there is nothing left but just to get it done. We have the replay mod going. And okay, let's just, it's just, we just got to go. And then we're going to more or less run alongside a TNT thing. But I have a feeling, I have a feeling that tree is going to betray me. I really want to go just cut it down. But also it's like, there's other trees that are just high. So it's like. No, let's go cut it down. It's going to take two seconds to cut down. Back. It's despawned. Okay. As I was saying before, let's, there's no, it's just gotta, you just gotta pull, you just gotta pull it. Okay, it's working. <clears throat> oh, that's unfortunate. Hasn't blown itself up yet, though. So as you can see, the test run was successful. I call that a success. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually ride along with the machine until it more or less bottoms out. And what I mean by that is the TNT is essentially falling into full distance and exploding without hitting a block. And we're just going to go in the minecart this time because more or less everything's fine. And we'll kind of just leave it to go. Let's do, I'll say like either bottoms out or four passes because this takes a while. Okay, I think that went really well. I mean, look at that trench. You can kind of see it. It's hard to get a good angle of it. But what we've kind of come to the conclusion of is this eight we our highest block that it ate through successfully may i add was at 110 so that means we can go about 25 over the block and it cleared it down to about 55. so if we do a little math that means that around y80 is where we're going to reset this whole sh thing up now the problem with that is it doesn't super like being taken apart and not make boom boom so but what we're going to do first is we're just going to take our coordinates for these obsidian blocks and put them in our spots. Because the most important thing is that we move these successfully. So I think this is a good spot to leave this video. We did a pretty good job. We have our flying machines moved down to here. And we're hoping we're currently at like Y54. We're hoping that we're going to get down another... 60 ish levels so hopefully 70 will be down to y negative 20 which means we'll only have to move the machine one more time to get down to bedrock which is amazing and i mean look at this this is great it's nice and flat it's more or less a tunnel we're gonna run it probably during a stream to see so if you want to you know watch some stuff we'll be doing 
streaming as well. And we're probably gonna, on the stream, make sure it clears back and forth. Um, as the day gets earlier and earlier, more people are gonna log on the server. I don't really wanna be doing this while a ton of people are online. Look at that. Look at that, we can kind of see the whole thing now. That's amazing. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you had an enjoyable video watching it actually work. I don't know if that's less entertaining than watching it. Oh, watch, we're gonna get blown up. It's fine. Anyways, thanks, bye.